Hey, um, I'm Samantha Mason. I'm currently a graduating senior at the College of New Jersey uh, studying speech pathology and deaf studies. I'm here today with um, ParentTube to give you just some quick facts on what Warnberg syndrome is, um, which is actually the most uh, common inherited cause of congenital deafness. Uh, Warnberg syndrome is a disorder characterized by pigmentation problems and congenital hearing loss. Uh, with an occurrence of about 1 to 40,000, uh, Warnberg syndrome accounts for around 5% of all children born with congenital deafness, which makes Warnberg syndrome the most common and, as I said, inherited cause of congenital deafness. Of those with Warnberg syndrome, 45 to 50% have a severe to profound unilateral or bilateral hearing loss. There are four types. Um, the first two are the most common and the most common to cause deafness. All four are very similar, but um, but they can be distinguished by various uh, physical characteristics. Um, for most of them, there are odd pigmentation um, problems. So there may be um, patches of white skin or pale skin, as well as um, white patches of, of hair or premature graying of the hair. Um, and pale blue eyes or different colored eyes. So one may be brown, one may be blue, or one may be green, one may be blue, um, something like that. And as I said, those are typical to all four types. Um, wide set eyes with a deep nasal root is also typical of type 1. Um, abnormalities in the upper limbs like displacement of the shoulder blade and webbing of the fingers um, is typical of type 3. And for type 4, the symptoms um, are both from Warnberg syndrome and Hirschsprung's disease, which is an intestinal disorder. Um, Warnberg syndrome is caused by mutations of six specific genes, the EDN3, EDNRB, MITF, PAX3, SNAIL2, and SOX10. Um, so for type 1 and type 3, the PAX3 gene is, um, is mutated. For type 2, the SNAIL2 and MITF, and for type 4, it's the SOX10 and EDN3 or the EDNRB. Um, these genes are important for the development and proper functioning of malonocytes, which is important for um, cells to produce the pigments for the body, um, which is where the, the pigmentation issues come from. Um, but it's also very important in um, malonocytes are required to make endolymph, which is the fluid uh, within the chambers of the cochlea. So without that, the proper functions of the cochlea and the inner ear um, are don't work. So um, so that's what where the deafness um, occurs from. Um, as well as with uh, SOX10, EDN3, and EDNRB, those are all um, important for the cell functioning of cells um, within the intestines, um, which is where the Hirschsprung's disease comes from. And then for type 2, um, or type 3 rather, um, the problems with the upper limbs and um, muscle functioning comes from those cells as well. Um, those with Warnberg syndrome with, with a hearing loss may benefit from hearing aids or a cochlear implant um, and by having an audi audiologist, speech language pathologist, and an ear, nose, and throat doctor on their team um, as well as a teacher of the deaf, special education aid, um, anything that a typical deaf ch child may need. Um, but just like a normal child, um, it's very unique. The symptoms are very unique. There are typical symptoms, but um, because it's a mutation, things do occur, so it's not always um, the same. So it is, it's very important to, to keep an eye on that. Um, so I also, um, if you wanted more information on this, I will include um, some of the websites that I found information on below. Also, I have a script of everything that I talked about um, because I couldn't figure out captions. You can follow along down there um, along with the video um, in case you wanted that. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this and hopefully you come back and watch some more of our ParentTube videos. Thank you.